social media na ya kofa ensema e koso e wo honom aba soko e trende vice president dr mahmoudou baumia ana wa launch multi country development project a freno gulf of guinea northern region social cohesion project in bogatanga i know na ya freno soko no na soko project no e 450 million dollar multi country credit facility project a yes secure by government ne secure um any code if you are buying togo are buying benin or more it means secure sir at the sky a wall if you world bank a whole number project you know ever war am i improving facilities and security in the northern sectors and border towns of the four west african countries in the face of emerging extremism in the west african sub-region yeah launch a project no air war bogatanga no vice president dr mamu bamia eka say out of the total amount of 450 million dollars no the government of ghana has secured 150 million to implement the project in 48 metropolitan municipal and district assemblies in six regions of the country distributed as follows northern region ebenya eight northeast six district assemblies upper east all the 15 district assemblies Upper West, all the 11 district assemblies. Savannah, four district assemblies. Oti Region, four district assemblies. Dr. Bamia, I describe the project you know, as a very important and timely intervention. Ebetumi Abwa, Ama, Yesi, emerging and recurring challenges in the northern part of Ghana. No, no, I'll say, I quote, the project has been conceived and designed to address the effects of the spillover of conflict and extremism from the Sahel region reduce vulnerability because of exposure to the impact of climate change, strengthen local institutions, improve economic opportunities, and build public trust, unquote. Comment Abanu Ebi Enyedan say, until their leaders change, nothing will happen. I see a lot of NGOs in Tamale, but unfortunately, it is the implementers of the NGO program who are rich and the people still remain poor. The politicians and few privileged elites are those doing well at the expense of the downtrodden. Baba say, from IT to security instead of economic crisis solutions. Mahama see great move. Our next president, inshallah, victory awaits you, sir. If one of my coach Otuado so air trendy, na coach Otuado a Ghana coach, ah, alongside criticizing referee Ishmael El Fata and El Fat after the defeat of portugal at the 2022 world cup otuado blamed the referee for ghana's 3-2 loss to portugal claiming the europeans had the support of the american official portugal was awarded a controversial second half penalty uh, in a very very wrong decision and a referee no uh, yeah yeah i quote or say i don't know whether they were not paying or whether the vra was not paying attention if you look at the replay, we played the ball, it was actually a foul against us, unquote. And of course, so Ekasa Efa Assembly Hono Sai, so Eka say, a crucial match now, a year Ghana Ebo, a year Ene with the Korean side, you know, a year there, Omudi, who you may ye pa, Omudi, to be a quid, my pitch, and so Abobo, no. Comment Abano, any. James is saying, we cheated South Africa to get the opportunity to the World Cup. So let's stop this <laughs> hypocritic attitude and concentrate on our next match against Korea. Bruno say, Masa, there is no need for any apology. That referee was visibly biased. I don't like the so-called thing they call rules and try to punish coaches for expressing their views. That referee should be suspended. The whole world saw it. I'm very sad. He has Moroccan blood in him. Kofisi, you are apologizing because you are afraid of what the other refs are going to do in the remaining of our matches, right? No, I say, enough of that. Just make sure you pick the right team to win our remaining matches. Philip said, this is marketing. The World Cup investors will accumulate more with the Portugal narrative. Also, they are probably of the opinion that they are doing African nations a favor. If one of my Germany air trend, the Black Stars head coach Otuado, and uh, we raises more than a few eyebrows at his presser after making an odd pick to win the 2022 FIFA World Cup 
uh, not named Ghana. The former footballer picked Germany to win this year's World Cup but wasn't too high on the 2014 World Champions' chances of pulling it off. I quote or say, to win the World Cup, normally I would like to go with Germany, but the odds are not really in their favor at the moment. He said when responding to a question asked at Ghana's pre-game presser before taking on South Korea. Ghana plays the Asian nation on Monday, November 28, at 13 hours GMT, after losing... 2-3 three, three to Portugal with South Korea drawing goalless with Uruguay. And to match, you know, Ebeka Kopiemo, Evie, I always to me share with Achimota Mo, and I say, Junction Mo, and now always to me a journey in our studio, ah, your day commentary, Papa Pa, Ebro, both on TV and on radio. Comment, Abano, Ebi, and Emmanuel say, he will come and meet us in Ghana. Nana see they only went there to waste our money. Zakaria said, Nana Ponsa, if they don't waste it, crap, politicians will waste it, so let them waste it. Every waste is a waste. Dean say, I just love him because he talks about reality. He should have been a politician. Nana I say, this is total insult to all Ghanaians. He should have ignored that question in the first place. Even if you think Ghana cannot go far, he shouldn't have taken Brazil as favorite. Fierro coach, you are not a hardcore football fan. Ateta will never admit Arsenal, Arsenal will win the league. It's not like he doesn't believe in his team. He just wants to take the pressure off them. It's normal with coaches. And this is a trend, you know, ABCs.